in last video we have discussed the balancing of four cylinder engine in this one we will be discussing the balancing of a six cylinder engine here it is given the case of a six cylinder four stroke engine and it is said that all the reciprocating masses in six cylinders are same and their crank length is also same 60 mm and connecting load is 240 mm the distances between different uh, center, uh, centers of the cylinders are given the reciprocating mass of mass is given 1.4 kg which is same the engine speed is 1000 rpm and here we have to determine the out of balance primary and secondary force and couples here it is given that uh, the six cylinder engine can be seen like this and each are having same reciprocating mass with the same crank radius and their firing order is given firing order you uh, we all know about this firing order so here we have to check whether is there any out of balance primary force, primary couple, secondary force, secondary couple. So first we will be drawing this diagram. This diagram will be known as primary crank diagram which is used for constructing the primary force as well as primary couple polygon. So this is the first step. So there will be six center lines corresponding to each cylinder, six cylinders and those planes are named as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and next you have to mark the position of crank. This is a 6 cylinder 4 stroke engine then you have to get the respective angle between adjacent crank and this is a 4 cylinder engine which will be taking uh, for completing the 1 cycle this will be taking 2 full revolution that means 2 into 360 degree will be taken for complete uh, of this uh, 4 stroke engine and this is a 6 cylinder or 6 cranks are there so this will be giving you the angle between adjacent crank which will be giving you 120 degree and here it is given the firing order so you will be using the firing order to mark the angle between adjacent crank so first we will be taking the first crank as along acting h is along the horizontal man means this will be taken theta 1 will be taken as 0 degree Next firing order is 4 means after first 4th cylinder or 4th crank we will be placing. So 4th interval is 120 degree. So 4th cylinder will be at 120 degree. Next firing order 2. So 4th 120 and again 120 second cylinder. This will be coming 120 plus 120 to 40 degree theta 2. And next 6th cylinder. With respect to this second again 120 means 240 plus 120 that is 360 or 0 degree. This is again 0 degree for 6 and again third cylinder. Third cylinder plus 120 means this is 120 and last one is fifth cylinder. So from here again 120 means 120 plus 120 240. These are the crank angles for the six cylinders. Each cylinders are having mass the same mass and each are having the same crank radius which is R. R is common for all the cylinders. And here it is mentioned to take a plane midway between the cylinders 3 and 4 as the reference plane. Means this will be taken as the reference plane. And from this primary crank diagram we have to find the primary force as well as primary couple. Means is there any out of primary force and couple. For that we will be constructing this table with the planes named as 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6. Masses are same, radius are same. Then we will be calculating the centrifugal force which is MR omega square. We will be marking only MR terms. With respect to this we can construct the polygon. Next distance from reference plane. Here reference plane is this one. Cylinders on the one side will be giving the value with the sign. Distance will be having one sign and the other side will be having the other sign. So if you are considering plane 1 with respect to reference plane it is at 2.1 meters on the left side that will uh, 0.21 meters on the left side that's why we are giving it as minus 0.1 similarly you can find all the distances and you can fill this column also then you will be taking the couple about reference plane which is this column multiplied by this column that also you can fill and we obtain the angle with respect to reference axis reference axis is horizontal for all the six cylinders so you will be filling this with using this table you will be drawing the uh, force polygon as well as couple polygon. First we will be drawing the primary force polygon. So we will be starting with for drawing the primary force polygon we will be starting with this point 
first we will be drawing this vector mr at 0 degree means we will be drawing so this is the first vector and at this point you will be measuring the next angle 240 degree means you will be measuring with respect to horizontal then 240 degree and again that vector is mr means second vector you will be getting in this diagram and again from this point you will be making horizontal from there you have to draw the third vector which is at 120 degree so you will be measuring and the same length which because it is mr so you will be reaching here and again from that point next vector is at 120 and that length is again mr so you will be drawing this will be reaching here and from this point you have to make this 240 degree means 240 will be coming in this orientation then you will be getting the this vector which is again having length mr and from this you have to go 0 degree with the vector mr means you will be reaching this point means we have started here and finally we are reaching here means the entire couple polygon is uh, closed so there is no unbalanced primary forces so there is no unbalanced primary forces next you have to construct the primary couple polygon primary couple polygon will be made with the use of this table so first vector is minus 0.1 mr at a 0 degree so you will be starting with a point we will be starting with this point and from where first vector is minus 0.2 mr since it is minus 0.1 mr from the starting point is 0 degree but we will be coming in the negative direction so first i will be marking the minus 0.2 mr next vector is minus 0.13 mr at 240 degree so from this point i will be marking 240 degree 240 degree will be line will be coming but here it is minus 0.13 so in opposite direction i will be moving means minus 0.13 mr will be this one this is minus 0.21 mr and this is minus 0.13 mr and this is the point next from there you have to travel 120 degree so from this point i will be measuring with respect to horizontal 120 degree measured and this will be coming in this direction but here the value is minus 0 0.05 mr which is coming in the negative direction with respect to 125 degrees so i have to travel in this direction so now you have reached here next you have to draw the next vector plus 0 0.05 mr in 120 degree so from this point you will be marking 120 degree means in this direction you have to go and that vector is 0 0.05 means if you are traveling that vector is having same length as that of this one means you will be traveling back to this point and from again from that point next vector is at 240 degree so if you are drawing the next vector which will be coming in this orientation and that is directed which which is actually acting along the same direction and this is 0.13 mr means this point is actually this point and the starting point is actually this one i am not uh, drawing as the single line i am just separated it next last vector is at 0 degree and it is having 0.121 mr so this point is actually this one from here you will be traveling at a 0 degree with plus 0.1 mr means you will be reaching here this point is actually this one same point these are actually same point means we have started here and also at the end we have reached here means here also polygon is closed means there is no unbalanced unbalanced primary couple so this six cylinder inline engine is completely balanced in the pri for primary force as well as primary couple next we will be seeing whether it is balanced based on secondary force and secondary couple next we will have to draw the secondary crank diagram for finding the secondary force as well as secondary couple polygon and secondary secondary unbalanced force is we know that actually it is depending upon the mr omega square into cos 2 theta divided by n so force will be taking it as mr omega square by n magnitude and 
the crank diagram will be drawn based on this angle 2 theta. So, we are having the primary crank position so are shown in the previous diagram, primary crank diagram as like this and next for drawing the secondary crank diagram we will be taking 2 theta which is 0 will be becoming 0, 240 into 2 will be becoming 480 which will be taken as 360 plus 120. So, we will be taking as 120 and similarly all these values can be taken by multiplying this primary crank angles by 2. Then we can draw the secondary crank diagram, 6 cylinders are there and this respective angles will be marked at each positions. Next you have to calculate the or uh, draw the secondary force as well as coupled polygon for that we will be filling this column. Force is actually MR into omega square by n, this omega square by n is common for all things and next we will be filling the MR since reciprocating mass and crank is same for all 6 cylinders this column will be same MR distance from reference plane is marked which is same as explained in the primary crank and couple about the reference plane is also calculated by multiplying this and this one and here we are not considering the omega square by n and angle this is actually the secondary crank angle this is found by in this way or these are the angles which we are filling here next you have to draw the secondary force polygon and after we will be drawing the secondary couple polygon also. Secondary force polygon we will be starting with this vector first. First vector is MR to 0 degree we will be starting at some point then from 0 degree in the positive direction it is MR 0. Next from there MR at 120 degree. MR at 120 degree means we will be going in this way. This is because from this point this is 120 degree and from again at that point at 240 degree next vector so it this horizontal will be drawn and from this angle 240 degree so it will be coming here this is also MR from there again next vector is at 240 degree so it will be going again MR in this direction and from that point you have to take 120 degree means in this direction 120 degree and MR so it will be reaching here and again at 0 degree MR means you will be traveling this much. So, you have started your polygon here and you are ending here also means polygon is closed or you can find there is no secondary unbalanced forces. Next we will be drawing the secondary couple polygon. Secondary couple polygon will be drawn with the use of this column. So, values of this one are given and angles are also given. So, you will be starting with a point from here at the 0 degree minus 0.1 MR 0 degree minus so will be coming in the opposite direction so will be reaching here and from that 120 degree will be taken so from this point 120 will be coming in this direction but here it is magnet is minus so in the negative direction will be coming it is minus 0.13 and from there again take a 240 degree 240 degree means from this point 240 will be coming in this direction but here vector is minus 0.05 so you will be going in the opposite direction so you will be reaching here next vector is again 240 degree so from this point you will be taking 240 degree means same line you will be getting and along that line again plus 0.05 along that line you will be coming plus 0.05 and from that direction 120 degree plus 0.13 means you will be reaching back to here from this vector and from here at 0 degree plus 0.1 means you will be going back to this point. So, this end point and this starting points are representing same points. So, this uh, polygon is closed therefore, there is no unbalanced secondary couples also. So, we have seen that there is no unbalanced forces, there is no unbalanced secondary couples and in the previous case we observed that there is no unbalanced primary forces as well as primary couples means a six cylinder four stroke engine is inherently complete, completely in balance in both primary as well as secondary forces and couples. Thank you.